and welcome to my channel. My name is Krista. In today's tutorial I will be showing you how to make a beaded gecko. Um, it's kind of a, could be used as a, a keychain or a um, pull tag. You can put a little clasp on it to make it for a pull tag. Um, this is actually the first in a series of three different videos. The second video will be, I will show you how to make a beaded heart. And then in the third video I will show you how to make a beaded dragonfly. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, give you the list of things that you're going to need for this video. So of course the first thing you're going to need is some sort of cording. Um, I have this plastic lace. Um, as you can see, it's, I have a box of, I think there's like eight of them in here. And I bought them at the dollar store. Now I did buy them a couple years ago, but hopefully you'll be able to find them. If not, just find something that you're going to be able to fish through the holes on the pony beads. So the other things you're going to need are of course pony beans. So in this case you're going to need 27 light beads. So these are pony beads that we're using. You're also going to need 21 dark, darker beads. Well in this case I'm using like a like a clear bead. And then you're going to need two dark beads and these will be for the gecko's eyes. The other things you may need or you will need is either some sort of a, a ring if you're making like a keychain or some sort of a, a hook. So this is one that I pulled off an old lanyard. I thought I would use it. So that's what I'm going to be using. The other things you probably will need, a pair of scissors and a lighter. So if this is a child doing this, you will need some help with this. That's so that you, once you tie these, you kind of, you burn the ends so that they don't come unraveled. So I will show you that when I get to it. So let me move these beads out of the way and we will get started. So the first thing you're want, going to want to do is cut a piece of this plastic lace 48 inches long. Okay, so once you've done that, just match up the ends and then find the center. And this is where your gecko is going to be started from. So keep a hold of that. And we are going to start with one of the light beads. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these pony beads and I'm just going to put it on there and kind of shake it down so that that bead is right in the center. Okay, so just like that. Then you're going to take two more of the light colored beads and you're going to put them on to one side of your plastic lace. Put them both on there and again you're going to scoot them down. Then what you need to do is just kind of Fold it over so that the beads are kind of on its side. This part is a little tricky, especially when you're just starting out. So you want to line up the holes of these two pony beads here. I'm trying to get my fingers to work here. Then you're going to take the lace from the other side, grab the end, and you're going to put it through both of those holes. Just pull it right through. And when you give it a little tug, then you'll have something that looks like this. Okay, so now we're going to take the two eye beads, so whatever choice of beads you've chosen for your eyes, mine are just a darker green, and you have a light green in between, so you need three beads for this row. Okay, so again we'll grab our lace, put the dark bead, the light bead, and the dark bead. Scoot them all down to the end, and again we're just going to fold them over to kind of make this kind of a shape. Hold on to them, and you're going to grab the lace from the other side, the opposite side. You're going to find the end, and you're going to push it through all three holes, so all three pony beads. Okay, so pull that through. Give it a little tug. Just be gentle with it. I mean, it is just plastic, so if you tug too much, it could rip. So there we go. And plus, if you tug too much, then it, it tends to want to fold in on itself all the time. So there, so that's the beginning of the head. Now we're going to take two more of the light beads and we're going to string them on. Doesn't matter whether which side you start off with, the end result is still going to be the same. You just need to feed them down and whatever side you started with, you grab the opposite lace and run it through. Kind of, kind of tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. So just run that through there, and there we have the head 
of our gecko. See, it's starting to come together. So now we're actually going to start working on the arms of the gecko. Okay, so keeping this kind of snug, you're going to grab the end of one. Now for the legs, what you need, you need two of the light beads and you need three of the darker or the opposing color, contrasting color. So you put your two light beads on first, then you put your three contrasting color beads on and let them go all the way to the, to the bottom. Now this time, instead of going back through all of them, we're only going to go back through the two light beads. So these two here, okay? So not these three, we're gonna kinda leave them aside. So what I do, kinda use all your fingers, take the lace and scoot it through the two beads. Through two beads, not just one. There we go. Okay. So then you're going to pull them down, and when you do that, it kind of makes this little shape, which kind of is the is the legs for the gecko. Okay, so just kind of fiddle around with them a little bit, and there's one of our legs. Okay. So now we need to add in the other leg. So you take the other side of the lace, so the opposite side to where you just put those beads on, and we're going to do the same thing. Two light beads and three contrasting beads. So start with your two light ones. Add your contrasting beads. And scoot them all the way down. Same as the other side, we're going to bring that same lace and go back through the two beads and pull it in snug. So now your little gecko should be starting to take some shape here. Okay, so that's kind of what he's looking like so far. So now we need to start adding the body. So now we need to add a light bead, a contrasting bead, and a light bead in that order. Okay, so I'm just going to lay him down there. Add the three beads and put that on there. And same as before. So the whole process all the way through here is you're, you're weaving one end of the lace through the beads and then you're taking the other lace and you're weaving it back through. So it's kind of knotting it in there so that they stay together. Okay, so now we need to do our next row. Our next row consists of a light bead, two contrasting beads, and a light bead. Okay, so I'll just add those on. Now when my kids were little, they loved making these. I don't know how many they made and their friends made, and we had a lot of beads, so it was fun as when my granddaughter got old enough, whoops, we actually, we made some of these and they had so much fun making these. My, my grandkids just loved it. And actually my grandson still wears his on his coat today. So again, we're going to take our op opposing lace and weave it back through those beads. We'll give it a little snug pull. And see how he's coming together? He's starting to be pretty cute. So again, we're going to go on to the next row, which is the same as the last. Okay, so a light, two contrasting, and a light. So we'll add those ones on. So yes, if you're doing this with kids, I mean, it's a lot of fun. The only part that obviously is going to have any type of danger to it at all would be that the very end where you're having to use the lighter. Um, but the rest of it, the kids should be able to do pretty much by themselves. It's, it's good for dexterity. It's good to get their brains and their fingers working in the same direction. So again, we're going to feed that back through all four of those beads and give it a little tug. All right, so now we need to do our next row, which is going to be this piece here, which is the last part of the body. And that is one light, one contrasting, and one light. Okay, so we'll get the light, 
contrasting and the light. If you find that your gecko is getting a little loose, you can kind of give them a little tug here and there, especially if you're using this plastic lace. It, it's, it's pretty good at snugging up. So again, we'll feed that through all three of those and tie it in there. So now we've got our head, our front legs, and our body. So now we need to make our back legs. Well, the back legs are made exactly the same as the first, as the front ones. So we need three lights and three contrasting. So same as before, we will stick these light ones on and put the three contrasting ones on. And scoot that down, and then we're only going to go through the two light ones. Okay, can you see that? How it's going through there? Whoops. Front leg and back leg are connected. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So there's one back leg. So now we need two more of the lights and three of the contrasting for the opposite leg. So get that cord out of the way and use the other side and put your pony beads on. Now these pony beads you can buy them all over the place. I know I've seen them at Michael's and Walmart and actually I've even seen them at the dollar stores. So I mean really this could be a very inexpensive um, day for you and your kids if or you know if that's what you're wanting. So again we're gonna go back through the two light ones. The thing is with kids is stuff doesn't always have to be real expensive for them to enjoy it. As long as you're spending time with them and they love that. They they love the interaction and when they can say, I made that, that's something even better. Alright, so now we're getting close to being done. So now what we need is we need two of the light colored beads. So this is just going to finish off underneath his, behind his back legs there. So again, we're going to feed them on, take the lace from the other side, scoot it through both of those. Give that a little snug, a little tug. Okay, see how he's laying nice and flat there? So the last thing we need to do is to build his tail. So the tail is just, you should have six beads left. Three light and three co contrasting colors. So we're going to add them on in that order. Okay, again it doesn't matter which side you start, but we're going to do one at a time. So add one light and then go through it with the opposite lace. Okay. Whoa, don't catch his leg in there. Get him pulled in snug here. Okay, so that, oh, you know what? I did that wrong. I apologize. We need to start with the opposing, uh, with the contrasting color so that it doesn't blend in as much. Sorry about that. So we'll add that in. Take the opposite lace and put it through the hole. Okay, so that's one. So now we're going to add the light bead. And this is where it gets a little tricky because when there's only single beads on here, it wants to kind of release a bit. So just hold it, give it fairly tight with your hand and you're okay. You'll be okay. Okay. So that's the second one. So now we're going to add the next contrasting bead. And run the lace through it, the opposite lace. Okay. We're almost done. These don't take very long and that's I guess the nice part about it. They don't take very long to do and you know it gives the, if it's your kids doing it, it gives them the sense of accomplishment and you know I, I made that. So okay so now we need one of these, the opposite, sorry the contrasting color. Okay and we'll get our lace from the other side and feed that through. Okay, so there's that, and one more to go, Oop, one more to go, this is the last one. Okay, 
So now that we've got our tail on, our little beaded gecko is all done. Isn't it cute? I know some people call them crocodiles or alligators, but I don't know. My kids, I grew up, my kids grew up calling them geckos, so that's what I call them. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to be able to, we need to put a double knot right here. This is to ensure that those beads are not going to come loose. Okay, so just do a double knot there. Okay, so that should hold those in place so that they're not going anywhere. Now the next thing you want to do is decide whether you're going to put a ring or a hook. Like I said, I'm going to put the hook on this one. So all it's easy, all you have to do is run it through here, run it through and tie a knot. I'm just basically securing that on there. So now what I like to do is take one of the laces and go through that again to the other side so we can tie a knot on the other side as well. I like to make sure it's on there. Just You don't want all this hard work to one day you wait, go to pull your zipper pull or something and it's not there. So this time I'm going to give it a double knot. So there's that. Okay. So now all we need to do is we're going to, now this is where parents help is definitely required. All I'm going to do is snip this fairly close to where that knot is. Okay. So both of these laces. So now you're going to take your lighter and do this very carefully. It is plastic so it's going to melt and that's really what you want it to do so that you can seal off that knot. Okay, so we're just going to burn it and then take a pair of scissors or something and just kind of push it in there so that it's in there and it can't come through. Okay. I'll show you a close-up in just a second. I just want to get the other side, get that kind of melted on there. Basically, you're just melting that plastic together. There's that end. I knew I missed it. There we go. All right. So there you go. There is your beaded gecko. So this is something that your kids could definitely make. You could, you know, they're fun to make and this would be great on a keychain or like I said, you could put the just a ring on it and put it as a zipper pull. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please keep watching for future um, videos that I will be putting out. Like I said, the next one will be on a beaded heart and then the third will be a beaded dragonfly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Have a great day.